We welcome you back to Longhorn Weekly and uh, joined during this portion of the program by Texas men's tennis head coach Michael Center. Now, I usually like to have the head coach introduce uh, the student athlete who joins us, but in this case, I, uh, I want to run down a couple of these uh, superlatives because, first of all, Soren S. Olson has been with us uh, before. He's one of the all-time greatest players at the University of Texas. So I just want to run down a couple of these numbers here. Uh, we're talking about a guy who is uh, top five of the national rankings. You mentioned number one ranking this season. He's a three-time ITA All-American, the ninth Longhorn to reach 100 career singles wins, NCAA single semifinalist last year, a quarterfinalist in 2013, a three-time first-team all-academic All-Big 12 uh, performer, uh, the Big 12 Player of the Year in 2014, number one singles champion in the Big 12 in 2014, 17 singles wins of a ranked opponents, uh, an academic team MVP, a COSIDA academic All-American nominee, and there's even a few other things in there, so I've probably left out a couple of things. But that really demonstrates how this guy has been the face of the program the last four years, isn't it? What have you done for me lately? <laughs> <laughs> Those are all things in the past, right, Craig? Does he give you grief I mean, about stuff like that what, with everything, all the accomplishments I mean, you've had, Zorin? He, he hasn't won a match this week, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, he's been great. I, he takes his, He's a consummate student athlete. There, he, he wants to be a great student. And he came here to be a great tennis player and a great team player. Not just a great individual player, but he really put the team first at all, at all times. So, yeah, he's been, uh, he's been fantastic. It, I can't believe that he's a senior. It seems like yesterday I was sitting in his living room talking to he and his dad. But, but he's going to graduate and, and get his degree in economics and uh, turn pro. And, and his future is very bright. Uh, Soren, in other than, and these are two big obvious ones, other than an individual national championship, a team national championship, have you accomplished pretty much everything you set out to do when you arrived on campus? Uh, I think my goal was just to be the best I could be. So I, I didn't have any specific goals because I, before I came here, I didn't know about all the awards you can win in, in the U.S. because I wasn't used to really getting any awards for anything back home. Um, but I think it's a nice proof of the work I've done and uh, as I said, I had no specific goals, but I, I got better uh, and I matured a lot and I think that's the biggest accomplishment. Have you, have you been able now, because of all of these other things that you've realized and as your team has battled these last couple of years and, and what you've had to do against top ten opponents this year to redefine those goals to include national championships, is that is that on the radar? Uh, of course it is. I, I think when we go to national championships, I mean, that could be, I mean, that's the, the that's my biggest goal, of course, to win the team national championships. I mean, that would be huge, especially now it's my last year, so it's the last chance for me to do it. Um, individually, um, I think I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take one, one match at a time. It's, I think it's not a good thing if you start thinking too much ahead, because there's still the most important part of the season, we haven't even started that, that part yet, it starts on, on Friday, so. I'm trying not to get too too emotional about everything and, and trying to just keep my focus and, and take it day by day. Michael, one thing that uh, we talk about tennis being that unique thing in, in, in golf and swimming and diving fall into this category as well about the individual national championships going hand in hand with the team and how the two really mesh. And when you've got a senior All-American, that makes it the transition and the, and the meshing of all of that a little bit easier in the chase for those things, doesn't it? Well, the, the thing about our sport, it's kind of unique. We'll play a team championship starting Friday. Mm -hmm. If we win these first two rounds, we move on, and it, it continues on next Thursday. Then the national championship is not played until Tuesday, and then the individual championships begin on Wednesday, and that concludes on, I believe, Monday. So it is a monster of a stretch <laughs> of tennis. And that's why I talked about the finals and everything, being able to coordinate things. But the key at this point is to stay in the moment and just stay. And like, and like Soren put it so well, we've talked about it a little bit during the course here. Don't get ahead of yourself. Compete each and every day. Enjoy this, this process of trying to get better and enjoy these matches because then at the end you can sit back and you can reflect on, on what's happening. But if you start to get ahead of yourself or start thinking, then you, then you apply pressure to yourself and, and typically you don't play, play your best. And he's done a great job of that this year. I mean, he had a lot of expectations, but each year the thing that I'm proudest of is each year he's gotten better. 
And that's, that's really, not many people can say that when they go to school. Soren, we, we often think of the seniors as also leaders of the team, not only by performance, but also in terms of whether it's the verbal or, the, or the, just the leadership element there. Do you view yourself, did, did you evolve into that over time uh, in your role with the team? I, I definitely did um, this year and a little bit last year. The first two years, I was still one of the younger guys, and there were so many guys that had from Texas, and they knew the system way better than I did. They tried traveling to all these places, so I, I think I just kind of soaked everything in the first two years. Um, and I think I, I've tried to just lead by example. I, I've tried to do my best every day, and I hope that people look at me and, and say that that's how they want to practice, that's how they, they want to do on the court as well. Um, so I think I'm not the, the most verbal guy in calling people out if they do something wrong, but I, I've just tried to establish myself as I said, as an example. And I hope that the, the younger guys will learn from that. And after I'm gone, they'll hopefully look back at me and, and say that that's how they want to deal with everything too. Yeah, Mike, do you see him leaving a legacy of, of those who are coming behind as to what they want to do? There's no doubt. Uh, Ricardo Rubio, my assistant and I were talking yesterday and Soren and Lloyd have probably hit more tennis balls than any two players we've ever coached. Their work ethic has been at the top of, of any student athlete that I've ever seen. I mean, if you want to find these two guys, just go by the tennis courts and you'll find them. And they're just always looking to practice, always looking to get better. And I do think he'll leave that legacy behind. Soren, it's great to visit with you as always. Best of luck this weekend and on down the road once you leave the 40 acres. Thank you very much. All right, Soren Hetz Olsen with us. Now, Michael Center will stay with us as well as uh, we talk another spring sport coming up when Longhorn Weekly continues here on the Longhorn Network and the Longhorn IMG Radio Network.